it's Jennifer Stay from Coloring Pages Bliss and I would like to introduce you to a product that I love. Um, it's something I've been wanting to show you guys for a little while and I talk about it from time to time in some of my videos. Um, a lot of you ask about my fingernails and one of my favorite things to do is wear these really fun kiss nails. My fingernails don't grow very good. I think it's part of my chronic illness. I don't know if it's the medication I'm on or just because I'm chronically ill, but they don't grow anymore and they're really thin and fragile and because I'm on film a lot, well, my hands are on film a lot, I want them to look pretty. And so I love having a nail that looks pretty when I want it to look pretty, but then back to just nothing when I don't feel good. And so these have been the perfect solution for me. I've tried several brands and so far Kiss is my favorite brand. They have different styles now. You can get them in different lengths. I always buy the real short or the short length because being an artist I don't want my nails to be in the way from drawing or coloring or whatever I'm doing. Let me show you a few of the different kinds they've got. This one is sort of like a natural looking type nail that you can either paint or just wear natural and then they have pre-painted kind this is sort of a matte look that's gray you've probably seen me wear these type on several videos and they have some that look like the gel nails they're all shiny and gorgeous they have different colors um, and I'll probably put a few different pictures up here um, while I'm talking here of some of the other nails that I have worn over the past year or so but anyway I just love the kiss nails they're really pretty and they're really easy to put on let me show you what's inside the box here I can find these um, online, of course, but usually I purchase them at Walmart. That's one of my favorite places. So they come out just like that. And I'm gonna set this right here. And they're in this neat little tray and inside you get a little stick of glue, which is gives you enough glue to put the nails on maybe two or three sets of nails. So it's quite a generous amount of glue in this tiny little bottle. And then you take this tray apart and all these little nails are gonna just fall right off just like that. And then this comes off and you have a little filler and then you get a little nail file and you get a little manicure stick and then these are the rest of the nails. It comes with 28 total nails and I can typically get two full manicures out of it. The first manicure fits perfect. The second manicure doesn't fit exactly right but will work. Okay, so these are all the nails right here. And they all have this particular style. They have a little tab on the end, which I love because it makes it really easy to hold when you're applying them. And they have a number on the end and that tells you what size they are. So it's anywhere from zero to 13 is the sizes. Here's zero and here is 13. So what we need to do now is determine what size each one of our fingers are. Now I have predetermined what size my fingers are and I wrote those down some time ago on this little card and then every time I sit down to do my nails I just have to grab all these sizes and I'm good to go. So it goes really quickly. But the first time you sit down to do it it's going to take you a little time because you have to take each size and try it onto your nail and determine whether it's the right size or not. And so you go through them all until you find the right size. That seems a little bit small until you find the right one. Now here's the size two, which I know is going to be the right size for my thumb. So I usually push it right down against my cuticle and I look to see if it's a nice snug fit along each side of my nail and I know that one is going to work just right. So I'm gonna go through and find all the right sizes for my uh, manicure here and I'll come right back.
Okay, now that I've got all my fingernails figured out and in a nice neat row, I can take the extra nails and we're going to get them out of the way so that we don't get mixed up. Now I like to keep an empty pill bottle handy and I'll put this in my purse and what I'm going to do is keep all the extra nails from this set in this pill bottle. I'm also going to keep the leftover glue when we're done in this bottle and the manicure stick that came with the set. And the nail file. And as you can see, This all fits really nice and neat into a pill bottle and then this can go into my purse and if I have any problems with the nails or manicure, if I lose a nail or one comes loose or if I want to file one down, I have everything I need in one little bottle in my purse ready to go to fix the manicure wherever I'm at. Okay, so to prep my fingernails for this, what I usually do is use some sort of cuticle cream and I get my nails and my um, skin really nice and moist and then I'll press the cuticles down and a great way to do that is to actually use the nails that you're going to use for your manicure and press those cuticles down and out of the way. Um, you can also use one of the spare nails to um, push the cuticles down that way you won't get any extra cream or anything on the nails you're actually going to be gluing and then once I've got all the cuticles prepared and pushed away and anything filed down if you have longer nails you want to make sure that the nails are filed and nice and not longer than the nails you're going to be applying of course and then what you're going to want to do is clean the nails really good. Make sure there's no polish or oil or anything there so you're ready to apply glue. So I've just got some nice nail polish remover here. This is just really good basic nail polish remover with no additives or anything. And I'm going to go over each finger. Okay, I'm going to put this little pad right here in case I need it to clean up any glue or anything as I go along. It always leaves a white powder on my fingers. Not sure why. If you know why, comment below. Okay, now I'm going to get my glue ready. And you just sort of twist to break the plastic seal around the bottle. That's pretty easy. And it comes off the cap and it has a little plastic seal. Now don't bother with breaking the cap off because that doesn't really work. You still have to clip that tip off with some scissors. And if you get a little bit of glue on your scissors, you want to clean that off with that pad you kept handy. That. Remember they gave you extra glue in that little cylinder so if some leaks out don't panic. Okay now we're going to start with our non-dominant hand. For me that's my left hand and we're going to start with the pinky finger and proceed from there and it's really simple. Now the probably the biggest mistake that you can make here is to use too much glue and I do that quite often and it's really not going to you know end everything if you use too much glue. You just want to try to be sparing with the amount of glue you give and the more you do this the more you'll get used to how much glue to give on each nail and of course each nail is a different size and if you have longer nails than I do you'll need more glue so for me it's just one tiny drop and then I use the tip of the glue bottle to spread it around and then I pick up the corresponding nail and do a tiny drop of glue there and use the bottle again to spread that around a bit. And then this is where that tab on here comes in so handy. 
hold it on and we want to try to line it up of course as nice and neat as possible and you line it up first at the cuticle at an angle like that and then bring it down and push it flat and I usually count to about 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Holding it with quite firm pressure. Then I usually change the position of my fingers and count to 10 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Just like that. And we did really good. Almost no glue leaked out on that. So really good amount of glue. Okay, now we'll move on to this finger and repeat the process on this finger and this finger. Okay, so we have these three fingers completed and I'm gonna leave my index finger and my thumb till the end so that I can use and manipulate these fingers really good to help me put on the nails onto this hand. Now, some of these other styles of nails, they come with adhesive tabs inside the packages. And you can try them out if you'd like. Personally, I have found that just using the straight up glue is the best way for me and my fingernails. Um, but like I said, my fingernails don't grow and they are really, really short. So maybe the adhesive tabs work better for people with longer nails. So give it a try. And let me know in the comments below if you have experience with the adhesive tabs that are different from mine. Okay, now you can see right here we've had a couple bubbles of glue come up. And we're going to just let those dry and after they dry we can use a tool like this a cuticle remover and easily just pop that right off and it'll be just gone and it'll be beautiful okay now we're going to move to this hand and do these three fingers just like I did on this hand So we've got six of the ten fingernails on and we can come back to these fingernails and they've had enough time to dry that we can remove the little tabs to get them out of the way as we move on to our last four fingers. So the way you remove the tabs is you bend them down and then back on themselves and they come off really easy. Down. Kind of my favorite part. <laughs> Look how pretty. Oh, so pretty. Such a big improvement over these short nails. So pretty. Okay, so now this is kind of where it gets a little tricky because these are our main fingers here. So here we go. We're gonna do these two fingers first. Ugh so hard for me to squeeze this bottle with my non-dominant hand. <laughs> I've often thought it would be funny to leave the tabs on and to do a tutorial with them on. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to use a nail file because right here where the tab was attached, there's just a tiny little rough spot. It's not even that big of a deal. You could probably just ignore it and be done now, but I like to have a nice smooth nail. So um, I'm just going to go over each one really lightly, once with the rougher side and then just buff it out with the smoother side. Now, 
you don't want to be patient and let any little drops of glue dry along the edge of your nail, you can use a little bit of nail polish remover and your pad or a cotton swab and very carefully lift those away until that glue is gone. And if you get any glue on your skin, it comes off really easy with the nail polish remover. Now we're just going to rehydrate all those little spots. Now you can shower with these nails on, do dishes, do art, do anything you want. And they are really strong. And the box says they'll last up to seven days. And I assume that pretty much depends on how rough you are on the nails. I have usually a couple fingers that um, will come loose sooner than the others. It's usually fingers that I use more than others. And so those will have to be glued back on. Also because my nails are so short underneath these nails, I think that my nails don't last as longer because I don't have quite so much to support the nail underneath. So mine tend to last more like four days, but also because of my chronic pain issues, I get to where they just sort of start to bug me and anything, even the elastic on my waist will start to bother me. So. Um, the nails, even if they're fitting correctly and still on correctly, they can start to bother me just because of my issues. So I think a regular healthy person can expect at least seven days. And if you've glued them on right and take good care of them and put them back on if they fall off, you might even get more like 10 days out of them. Now, if you want to remove them early, don't pull them off. The nail glue is very strong, so they won't just pop off. Um, you're going to want to soak them in a nail remover, an artificial nail remover. That's going to be your best bet. There are instructions on the box for how to remove the nails if you want to get them off earlier than just letting them naturally sort of start to come off on their own. Okay, there they are. Aren't they pretty? I think I'm ready to film some tutorials now and I think my nails are going to make me look beautiful and catch some attention on the tutorials. Thank you for visiting me and check out your Kiss nails at your store because they are really fun and I have loved using them and I use them all the time now and people don't even know that they are glue on nails. Really cool. Thanks for making such a great product Kiss and I hope you guys have a wonderful, colorful and beautiful nails filled day. Bye bye everybody.